Hello everyone. This is Benila. We are going to see digital circuits week four. The Boolean expression a bar b plus a b bar plus a b is equivalent to. So here in this uh, two term, your a is common. So this is common. This is common. So I'm going to take a out. So it becomes b plus b bar. So b plus b bar, the value is going to be one. So it becomes a bar. B plus A. So now here I can take the the I can write it in your distributive law. So A bar plus A and B plus A. So here it becomes A bar plus A into B plus A. So this A bar plus A is going to be one. So the left out value is going to be A plus B. So the equivalent form of the above expression is A plus B. Which of the following is a simplified form of the Boolean expression x plus y into x plus z? So here this term I am going to multiply this one. So I am just taking this x and multiply with x and z. So to get x x plus x z and take this y and multiply with x and z as x y plus y z. So here x x x becomes your x. So now x plus x z x is common. So if you take x out, so I will get your one plus z. So here, this one plus z value is going to be one. So as for the Boolean postulate, so now this becomes x plus x y. X is common, so take your x out, so it becomes one plus y. So this one plus y uh, value is going to be one, and then the left out value is going to be x plus y z. So the simplified form is x plus y z. The combinational circuit implementation of the following Boolean function f of a b c. So three literals, so it's going to be three uh, variable cornap map. So this is the three variable cornap map. This is your AB. This side is your BC. So now I'm going to plot the mid term. That's going to be one, then two, then four, and then seven. So here I just group this one. So this is going to be one. Here this is group because it's an individual value. Uh, so here this value was A bar, B bar, C. This value was A bar. B C bar here it is A bar B sorry A B bar C and this is your A B and C here. So here in this one, this A bar is common, so I'm going to take out and A is common for these two. I'm going to take out. So this becomes A bar into B bar C plus B C bar. So which is nothing but your B exclusive R of C. And here this is your uh, A. B bar C bar plus B C is nothing but X naught. That is B exclusive R of C whole bar. So now this is A bar B exclusive R of C plus A B exclusive R of C whole bar. So which is nothing but A exclusive R of B exclusive R of C. When the set of input data to to an even parity generator is zero one one one, the output will be. If it is even parity generator now. The output will be zero if your input has even number of ones. The output will be one if your input has odd number of ones. Here the input is uh, here the input is zero one one one. So the number of ones is odd. So the output should be one to make it as even. The input to a logic gate A is equal to one one zero zero and B is one zero one zero. What will be the output if the logic gate is? NAND gate. First, we'll see what is the truth table of your NAND gate. So, truth table of your NAND gate is so if it is x, y, and output is going to be z. So, if it is if it is two input, not four different combination. Two power two is four. So, zero 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 one one zero and one one. So, if your zero zero now output is one one zero one is one one zero is one 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 is zero. So if it so fill this one, so one into one is going to be uh, zero. Then sorry, one, one, one is going to be zero. One zero is going to be one. Zero one is going to be one, and zero zero is going to be one. So the output is zero one one one. The number of inputs and outputs in a half adder circuit. So half adder, this is the half adder circuit. So here these two are inputs. That is your A and B is going to be the input. So the number of input is going to be two. Output is sum and carry. So two output. So sum is equal to A exclusive R of B, and your carry is going to be A B. So two inputs and two outputs. 
the output y in the circuit below is always one bell so here they have given this circuit so this circuit so here this is an AND gate so I can write the input is P and Q so the output will be P Q whole bar and here Q and R so Q R whole bar and here it is P and R so it's P R whole bar so now this PQ is in bar input and QR is going to be the input for this one so I can write this down as PQ bar and then Q R bar and then whole bar. So you have a D Margus theorem. So what is this D Margus theorem? A B whole bar equal to A bar plus B bar and then A plus B whole bar equal to A bar B bar. So based upon these two we are going to work out. So A B whole bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. So I can write this as P Q whole bar plus Q R bar whole bar. So this uh, is nothing but PQ whole bar whole bar is PQ. So the input is going to be PQ plus QR. So this is the same input I am going to give to this uh, AND gate. So this becomes uh, PQ plus QR whole bar into P that is PQ plus QR whole bar. So this will become P R whole bar. So now the output will become P Q plus Q R whole bar into P R whole bar whole bar. So now this A B whole bar is nothing but A bar plus B bar. So this can be written as P Q plus Q R whole bar whole bar plus P R whole bar whole bar. So I can write this as PQ plus QR plus PR. So here this is the uh, R gate. So two or more of your inputs are one then the output is one. The dynamical hazard problem is occurred in both combinational as well as sequential circuits. In the figure shown the output Y is required to be Y equal to A into B uh, plus C bar D bar. The gate G1 and G2 must be respectively. So here this is a trial and error. So this is nothing but here it is nothing but I can write this as A bar. And here this is nothing but your B bar. If I take your nor, uh, G1 as NOR gate. So this will become A bar plus B bar whole bar. So here this can be written as C plus D whole bar. So if this is the case now. Uh, if I am going to take your G2, so if G, uh, G2, uh, I can take this as an R gate. So here, this A bar plus B bar whole bar, I can write it out as A bar into B bar. So here, this can be written as A bar into B bar. So which is nothing but A B. So if I am going to take this into R gate, so this Y becomes A B plus C plus D whole bar. So here this can be written as A, B plus A plus B whole bar is nothing but A bar, B bar. So A, B plus C bar, D bar. So your G1 should be your NOR gate and G2 should be your OR gate. What are the primary cause of the glitches in the digital circuits? Variation in gate delays due to process variations. The Boolean function Y is equal to A, B plus C, D is to be realized using only two input NAND gate. So the minimum number of gate required is. So here... Uh, a B so I'm just using this into a to uh, NAND gate so this is nothing but your A and B so the output will become A B whole bar and here again I'm going to use your NAND gate so for C and D so this will become C D whole bar and if I'm going to give this into a NAND gate again so now this will become A, B whole bar and then C, D whole bar and then so this is going to be one and this is going to be another whole bar. So A, B whole bar is nothing but A bar plus B bar as per De Morgan's theorem. So this can be written as A, B plus C, D. So to get this function how many in AND gate? 1, 2, and then 3.
So here this is the circuit they have given, they have to identify the operation. So here this is A, this is B. So this becomes A, B, whole bar. If I am going to give this as a 2, as the same input, so your output will be, so A, B, whole bar into A, B, whole bar. So NAND gate is whole bar. So A, B, whole bar is nothing but A bar, B bar. So A bar plus B bar. So I can write this as A, B plus A, B. So which is nothing but A, B. So this is going to be your AND gate operation. What about here? This A and A. So this is going to be A bar. This B and B, this is going to be your B bar. So this is nothing but A bar, B bar, whole bar. So A bar, B bar, whole bar is nothing but A, B, whole bar. That is A bar, B bar. So A bar plus B bar. So which is nothing but A plus B, which is nothing but your OR gate. So and then OR. The maximum number of two input NAND gate required uh, to implement two input XOR gate. So XOR gate is... Uh, uh, exclusive OR gate, if I am going to take A and B, so your exclusive OR gate should have, uh, if it is A and B now, so your A exclusive OR of B is equal to A bar B plus A B bar. You have to get this. You have to use your two input uh, NAND gate. So here, I can take uh, two inputs A and B. So if it's so, I'll be taking one NAND gate. So if I take one NAND gate, the output will be A, B, whole bar. Now, I'll be giving this A. So this is A, this is A, B, whole bar. So if I give this one, so this becomes A, A, B bar, whole bar. And here, I'll be taking this one. And then I'll be going to give this one. So here this becomes B, A, B bar, whole bar. Now I'm going to give this to a another NAND gate. So if it's so, what will be the um, value here? This is A, A bar, A, B bar, whole bar. And here this is going to be B into A B bar whole bar and then this whole bar. So this can be written as A A B bar whole bar plus B A B bar whole bar. So this can be written as okay. This is so this can be written as uh, A into A bar plus B bar and here this I can return, uh, write as A B into A bar plus B bar. So here how can I write this one? So I can if I multiply this one I will be able to get as A B bar plus A bar B. So A bar into A, so this is going to be A, uh, 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 this is going to be your A. Sorry. A into A bar plus A into B bar, B into A bar plus B bar into B bar. So this becomes A B bar plus A bar B, which is nothing but your exclusive OR gate. So how many um, NAND gate I require? So this is going to be 1, 2, 3 and then 4 NAND gates. So the logic circuit uh, used to find, minimize the above. So here I will be taking this, uh, they have given the circuit. So as per the circuit, so here they have given, this is going to be X, this is going to be your Y. So the output will be X, that is uh, X or this is your Y bar. So this is going to be X plus Y bar whole bar. And here this is going to be your X bar. So here the value will be this is your uh, X plus Y 
bar whole bar. So this x plus y bar whole bar you can write this on as x bar y. So here I can write this as x bar plus x bar y whole bar. If it is so, so how can I write this one? x bar whole bar and then x bar y whole bar. So this, this is going to be x and this I can write it out as x plus y bar. So if I multiply what happens here x into x is going to be x and x into y bar is going to be x y bar. If I take your x commonly out 1 plus y bar. So this 1 plus y bar becomes 1 as per Boolean phosphate so output is x. So this is going to be the value. So the maximum noise voltage that may appear at the input of a logic gate without changing the logical state of its output is termed as noise immunity. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Subscribe my channel for automatic updates.